Hey there everybody, Mazarok here, and today I want to talk about why I think Vengeance Demon Hunter needs a rework. Before we do get into it though, please do like, comment, subscribe, help out the channel, the algorithm, all that fun stuff. There is a Patreon link down below. This is also an early access video for my patrons of all ranks, so if you want early access content, this is a great way to get that, and you know, help support your local con your content creators. Uh, there is a Twitch link down below if you want to watch me stream, and of course a Discord link if you have any questions, want to come hang out with a wonderful community uh, full of great people, come on by, check that out. All right, so... <clears throat> Let's get into it. I was on stream, I was doing Vengeance Demon Hunter stuff, I'm vibing, having a good time, but I kept getting this feeling that I was always missing something, always lacking something, so we started talking more in depth on stream about Vengeance itself, and we were talking about my build and things like that, and there's a core problem that's very obvious with the build itself the moment you open the talent tree. So here we go. And this is the spec tree. See the problem here? See the three columns on the right here that don't have a single point put into them. That's a problem. Now, Vengeance Demon Hunter has nine columns here to spread apart. And for example, just to be able to get Spirit Bomb, a basic Vengeance Demon Hunter basic almost requirement at this point, you need to spend five points to get there. That's actually crazy. Not to mention, if you search up, which I learned the other day, because <laughs> I sometimes just don't pay attention, if you search up Demon Spikes, you have five talent nodes for a total of seven points just to customize your Demon Spikes. That's too much. Given the fact that I think it's 49, if, I'm, if I counted correctly, I could be wrong, but it's you need 49 separate points to be able to fill out this whole tree. That's pretty crazy, right? Especially in the age of this, you know, we're season one of Dragonflight, where some of the top tanks can easily remove one point and have easy access to the rest of the tree. Vengeance has to decide whether they want to go heavy left, heavy right, or straight up in the middle, because going towards the farther sides of this tree is indeed incredibly difficult. It's not easy, not to mention, taking Sigil of Chains is basically impossible. While retaining any for form of proper defensive value, it is incredibly difficult to take, and this would be a bit of utility that I think could act actually help the tank a ton. It could provide them with a nice AoE stop for large caster mobs, allow them to kite, group things up easier. Sigil of Chains is a great button, but the fact that you have to spend five talent points just to be able to take it is not fun. Is really difficult to get to, and this leads to obviously the first thing that I think they could rework. I don't want this to be a rant video. I Let's be constructive about all of this. The first thing that needs to happen with this tree is the two farthest side columns here need to go. Spirit Bomb, not the talents themselves, the talents just obviously stay in, that I would like to see, because, I mean, don't get rid of Spirit Bomb. Uh, Soul Furnace is good, Sigil of Chains is great, Chains of Anger, eh, eh, whatever. But I would love to see these three talents be a lot more accessible, and right now, with nine column wide, it's just not doable. It's not feasible, not to mention they have another problem. With the 40% HP buff... Without the 40% increased healing, I find this is hitting Demon Hunter at the higher end a lot more, which is something that I'm noticing more that I'm trying to do the 18 to 19 20 bracket, where that self-sustain that I had in Shadowlands, which of course, you know, there's tier set and there's a lot of other factors to that, just isn't there because Spirit Bomb isn't healing anywhere near as much. You know, your self-heals are 40% weaker basically because of your health. And that really, really hurts. So I think they could get a slight bump. I don't think a 40% increase in healing to Spirit Bomb or, you know, that sort of self-sustain. I think that's a little bit too much. But a slight buff up to that to really help out their self-sustainability that they are very dependent on to be able to live. Uh, I did a 17 temple and I got straight up clapped through meta because I looked at my chat for a second. I looked and was like, oh shit. I mean, looking at chat during the last last mob pull in Temple is already a dangerous thing. Shouldn't be doing that to begin with, and I'm well aware. But I, you just don't have anything. 
Like, what do you want me to do? You know, Prot Warriors have a 40% damage reduction to all incoming damage from everywhere. And the best that Vengeance has is meta, which is arguable. Uh, and But Fiery Brand, a one minute cooldown, applying a 40% damage reduction to one mob. That's not good. Prot Warrior can get Shield Wall down with the right talents to 45 seconds by itself. See where the weight balance is? You know, Paladins can get Divine Shield, Bubble Taunt, down to a two minute cooldown for a full eight second, like six second uh, immunity every two minutes. When you start comparing defenses with other tanks, you see, you can easily see where Vengeance starts to fall really short. So one of the things that I would like to suggest is this ability down here, down in flames, should actually be up here where Fiery Brand is, and Fiery Brand should just be made, made baseline. I think two charges of Fiery Brand is not going to break the spec at all. It's not going to destroy the meta or anything like that. Uh, you can, in fact, keep the spreads of the Fiery Brand in a less accessible spot than your second talent point if you so choose it and really kind of work things in but another reason why this tree is so lopsided on the left is you basically need fracture and you need spirit bomb and those aren't options so you're immediately losing a ton like a ton of ability to be able to go to that right side of the tree and there's good stuff here with a minor rework this tank could be an absolute monster and be well on par with the other tanks. And I'm not saying that Vengeance Demon Hunter is bad, but they require a little bit more focus and a little bit more play around once you get up to the, you know, once you get up to that 18 bracket, because you have to remember a 20 is now about equal to a 22, 22 and a half, right? From what it was last season. So things are a little bit more difficult. That loss of self-sustainability, that loss of a good proper defensive, which Fiery Brand is amazing on Tyrannical Weeks, is really good versus Pryo big tank buster mobs. But when you start comparing it to something like a 45 second shield wall, a minute shield wall, it's not that good, right? I had, I, you know, I had someone in Vengeance going, uh, I had some Vengeance Demon Hunters in my chat being like, well, Fiery Brand is so good, it's a 40% DR versus anything off that mob does. I'm like, yeah, Prot Warrior is 40% against everything. For the full duration. Doesn't matter where it's coming from. You're like, oh, yeah. Why, why would I want one mob when I can have all of them DR'd? Like, you start to weigh these things out and it... Eh. Not to mention taking things like Revel and Pain is incredibly difficult to take. You lose so much defensive value for a slight absorb when a uh, fiery brand drops off because you have to start taking things out of this side of the tree. Things like Soul Crush, which is so incredibly good, uh, Vulnerability, which is really, really good as well. You start to kind of lose a lot of ability to kind of... Even if you do have a couple of flex points, like here I just went down... There's a couple of points in the side of the tree, which I took just because they're easy to take and they offer decent value. Because trying to get anything on this side of the tree is very difficult, and the point to the point to defensive value just isn't worth it, right? Where I can spend one point on something like Soulmonger, which isn't the best option, but for me defensively, it's better than anything that I can easily grab down here for one point. And trying to find these points to go down the right side of the tree is very, very difficult. So my suggestions is to make Fiery Brand two charges... One charge baseline, your second charge, easy to grab right here with the reduced cooldown. You're not going to be breaking any sort of the game there. I don't think so at all. Reduce the tree size just a little bit. Uh, and lastly is Demon Spikes. Like we talked about earlier, having to spend seven points into Demon Spikes is actually crazy. <laughs> it's it's a lot. That's, it, it's too much. You only have 30 and for a subpar active mitigation compared to some other tanks, <laughs> shield block! It's not that good, right? So being able to reduce the amount of, you know, you could take retaliation here and really pretty easily apply it into something like deflecting spikes. It makes sense, right? We have retaliation, which reflects physical damage back to the attacker. 
Deflecting spikes literally like has that in the name. Your parries or whatever, you can literally retaliate back. Like why like it's kind of already built in. You can converge some of these talents to make them very, very strong, like feed the demon. I honestly think the only reason this is a two-point talent is because this is a two-point talent and this is a two-point talent to get to your capstones. Which is kind of not a good reason for feed the demons. Which is almost a requirement to be able to get full uptime on demon spikes and calcified spikes. Two points? It's it's a little much. You could free up a couple of talent points, make Fiery Brand two charges on a 45 second cooldown, and reduce the columns to make things like Sigil of Chains. Spirit Bomb should not be on the far left. In fact, it should be somewhere here in the center at a very easy, easy grab to take because there's no reason for it to be that far off in the tree for a five point investment that you're already you are going over here for fracture yes but it's too far off those are my suggestions for vengeance and that's why i think it needs a rework some help and i'm hoping that they take a look at this for 10.1 the class tree i think is overall fine could it use some minor tweaks and changes yes of course we could all always break down anything into some nth crazy degree right we always could but I, my huge gripe isn't with this. It's with this. This needs some help. Well, thank you very much for listening, everyone. What do you think about Vengeance Demon Hunter in Dragonflight right now? Do you hope it gets a rework? What are your suggestions? Let's keep everything, you know, constructive and kind of go on from there. There's obviously some more points that I could talk about, but those, I just want to keep this down into, like, a very condensed form and not, like, a crazy long rant. But if you want to hear me talk about Vengeance Demon Hunter, you can always join me on stream and ask me some questions there. <laughs> Aside from that, I hope you guys, I hope everyone is having a great time. I hope you guys are enjoying Dragonflight as much as I am and are excited for all of the things to come. Have yourselves a good one, everyone. Thank you for listening and have a Bye.